Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Happy Tuesday to you. How are you keeping up? We thank God for today. God is good and all the time. It's a glorious day and we give him all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. This is every word of God for daily living. Let's worship God. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I give you glory. Let your name be glorified. You are Jesus. Let your name be glorified. Oh, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Oh, faithful. That's who you are, you are holy God, for you are God, you are Yahweh, our sufficient God, that's who you are, you are holy, that's who you are, you are faithful. God, indescribable, you are sufficiency, oh Lord, that's who you are, oh faithful, faithful, oh God, that's who you are, oh Lord. We praise you for who you are. We praise you for your sufficient God. We praise you for your almighty God. King of glory, Lord of Lord, Lion of the tribe of Judah, great and mighty God, that's who you are. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord God most high, who was and is and still to come. King of glory, love our soul. Blessed be your name, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we love you love you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have come again to receive your word. Jesus, we open up to you. Come and teach us your word. Let your word come with power to save, to deliver, to set free in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your word come as a hammer to break every stony heart, oh God. Jesus, give your people, oh God, the heart of flesh. Take away the stony heart, oh God. Put your spirit in people, oh God, by your word. Let your word sanctify us. Let your word cleanse us. Let your word purify us. Let your word make us ready for your coming. Oh, Lord Jesus, for you on your way. Anytime, oh God, you are coming. Have mercy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you're about to do. Blessed be your name. I give you glory. I glorify you, Lord. I worship you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our topic today is... Is your name in the book or the books? There's a question to you. May God help us as we're going through this invasion today in Jesus' name. Amen. This is by Pastor Parika, the International Director of the Holiness River Movement Worldwide Shot from Horemo. Today is Tuesday, August 16, 2022. Our testing for the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 12 to 15, I read. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the dead and hell de- delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man 
man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. God have mercy. May our name be written in the book of life in Jesus' name. Amen. A key verse from the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 33. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever had sinned against me, he will I blot out of my book. Oh Lord, help us. May our names never be blot out from the book of life, from your book, O God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord does not want anyone to perish internally. That was the reason why he sent his son Jesus into the world. He died for the sins of mankind in order to save man from damnation in hellfire. With all, with all that the Lord has done to save man, he does not force anyone to save him. He allows man to make his choice. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have sent, I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. So it is a choice. Because God loves us, he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross of Calvary. But still he is not forced us to serve him because he wants us to come willingly and serve him to recognize him as our lord and our god and our savior but still he say i have put before you life and death blessing and cursing choose the one you love cause then take it you love blessing then take it you love truth or you love force or you love evil then take whatsoever you love let that that you desire let it be what you would do this is what God has set before us. May God give us the grace that we will choose wisely in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God give us the power of good choice to choose wisely in Jesus' name. Amen. It has been made clearly to us that there are two ends of eternity, heaven and hellfire. All sinners that rebel against God and commit sins while they are still on earth their names are written in the books of the books not the book the books of death and if they die without repentance hmm, they shall be damned in hellfire this is a terrible thing no one wants to be damned in hellfire no one wants to go to hellfire everybody wants to go to heaven but then we must choose wisely by what we do our actions how we believe god how we hold on to god we must trust god to help us we must rely on him and totally surrender our all to him righteousness and holiness must be in us why believers who live holy and righteous here on earth their names are written in the book of life the book of life is just one the book but the book of death there it is the books with an extra s the books of life that is how our topic is is your name written in the book or in the books may our name be found in the book of life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen God help us. Oh Lord help us. That our names will be in the book of life. And shall spend eternity in heaven. Oh. And shall dwell in the place of God. God give us the grace. Grant us mercy. To hold on to him. Unto the Lord to the end. In the name of Jesus. For those who their names are written in the book of life shall be with God forever, shall live with God in eternity in heaven. Hmm. Hellfire is real. It's a real place of internal fire, everlasting burning and torment reserved for the wicked Satan, his demons and all sinners shall suffer everlasting damnation. In the fire that burns with sulfur and brimstone. 
this is a terrible thing this is an evil ah this is a terrible thing that is waiting for all those who will not serve god in sincerity in in in, in humility in open-mindedness in surrendering to god i don't know how to say it in righteousness and holiness some say oh this is what i know this is what my i was taught so because you are born into muslim you 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 it is now your norm when it is not the right way no matter what even if you are born into satanism all power belongs to god even those that are born into satanism know that jesus christ is lord they know because we saw it in the scripture that it demon possessed people they knew jesus told them not to not to not to call him lord not to let the people know but although they knew that this is the lord this is the master they said our time have not come in the time when jesus cast out the demons out of the one who was possessed uh, 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 with, with with legions of demon he said our what, what are you doing here master our time has not come do not cast us away their time is waiting in the time of judgment damnation forever doom forever in hellfire and satan is taking men men that their flesh can burn away men that is in fact physically your fire enter your skin you're gone spiritual fire that will never finish that is meant for de- the devil that is meant for ah may we never see her fire may we never enter there may our name not be blood out of the out of the book of life in the name of jesus amen heaven on the other hand is the abode of god the headquarter of the universe it is perfect glorious delightful comfortable holy and internal it's also internal even as hellfire is internal so heaven is internal so therefore choose ah which one will you choose everybody will say heaven indeed yes heaven is the abode of angels living creatures and the saints who have left it jesus calls it my father's house hallelujah hallelujah he has promised to prepare mansions in heaven for the righteous people of god those that serve the lord in righteousness what is righteousness those doing what is right those living according to the will of god those that are living according to the commandment and the status and the ways of god these are the righteous those who will live righteously on earth we inherit the kingdom of god praise the lord for heaven hallelujah somebody that is our hope that is our hope yes i was reading the book of timothy the other t- the other day it says that we are hoping we are waiting for heaven we are waiting for the kingdom of god that is the hope of our calling that we are waiting for the appearing of the lord yes that's how it's written we are waiting for the appearing of the lord that is our hope heaven is your hope as far you are a child of god you are a believer you trust god what are you hoping for is it material things is it the wealth of this world or heaven as a believer you say you are a child of god if your hope is not heaven my dear you have a lost hope pastors are misleading their members to say there is no heaven it is lack of understanding it is lack of wisdom of the word of god it is lack of the revelation of god when the bible says that they are heaven even there is the first heaven the second heaven and the third heaven but suppose i was caught into the third heaven hallelujah so if your pastor is not preaching about heaven and hell please sister run away because that should be the focus of the church because it is what we are aiming at when a student starts school he starts a university oh he is just a freshman he is waiting for that fourth year he will graduate to have his degree so that he can be able to further it to get his masters or for him to look for a a, a, a job quickly 
with it. Oh, he's looking for the day he will get his degree. He's waiting for that day that he will do his graduation. And his school has, is over. That is how Christians should be. Waiting for that day that we will get our certificate from God. Our certificate from God is God telling us, Well done, my servant. You can enter into my rest. That is our certificate. If your pastor is not reminding you and preparing you on how to graduate, your pastor is like a, is like a, a, a gangster in the school that distracts the student from studying. Or a student that went to school to study and start doing boyfriend and girlfriend. Your pastor is like that distracted person. Because when pastors begin to distract you with wealth of this earth, you want to get all the wealth and think that your, your heaven is earth. Your focus has shifted from heaven. It's not on material things. It's not on miracle. It don't, it, they don't even promote you to do what is right. But no. Come and give money. Give 10,000 so that you will get 20,000. It is not a bad gain. So my dear, run for your life. Seek holy ministers. Yes, one of them is Pastor Paul Rica. Come and hear the true word of God here. For your heaven, not for my own, no, me, I'm already here. For your heaven's sake. For this is a personal race. Run it well that we may see in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God has promised to prepare a mansion for us in heaven mansions your own my own in heaven for the righteous only praise the lord the spirit and soul of every true holy believer who dies on earth goes immediately into heaven into heaven to live to be with the father for eternity that is my goal Oh, Lord, may I achieve this goal in Jesus' name. May you achieve this goal in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The thought for the day says, is your name written in the book of life? Is your name in the book of life? There's a song I, I once heard. I, 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 I wish I could, I could really sing the song. I would have sung it for you. He says, is your name in the book of life? Is your name in the book of life? Is your name in the book of life? Oh, it's your name in the book of life with the Lord. If it comes today, will you go with him? My sister, will you go? My brother, will you go? It's your name in the book of life. It is this morning. Will it still be in the night or removed? It's your name in the book of life. Oh, watch that you may not fall. Your name can be in the book of life in the morning as you are going to work. And while at work, you steal, you sin, you lost, you make an unrighteous decision. Your name is removed and placed in, the one, in one of the books of death. It's your name in the book of life. Let it be in the morning and all throughout the day. The days of your life. Oh God, may our name remain in your book. May nothing remove our name from the book of life. Ah, mercy, oh God. Help us to do all to stand. Help us to do all to stand. With the whole arm of God, giving ourselves with truth, having the breastplate of righteousness, shielding ourselves. Oh, with a shield of faith, having the show, uh, the show of the of the preparation of the gospel of God, having the helmet of salvation, with prayer and supplication. Jesus, help me. Oh, help us that we will not miss heaven. I will not miss heaven. I pray by your mercies. We shall not miss heaven.
anyone playing with their Christianity, I pray, oh God, for your grace for that person to stand firm, give revelation, give visions, speak to them, cause they are to understand what you are telling them that it may not be too late for them aha may we not hear cast away oh god may we not hear cast away oh god oh my ears will never hear cast away oh god i pray have mercy in the name of jesus in the name of jesus it is a it is a will i say it's a battle Christianity is not bread and butter. Christianity is fighting, striving. The Bible says strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many be there at the enter through the broad way. For many are called, but few are chosen. Why not decide to say, I will be the chosen ones. Those that take A's in school consistently, it is because they decide that they want A. That is why they got it. Because they worked for it. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Faith without works is dead. These are the scripture that you will hold on to. The Apostle Paul says, show me your faith without your works. And I will show you my faith by my works. They go together. May the Lord help us that we will make heaven. Ah, may the Lord help me. I will not just come here and be a talker, but I will also be a doer of the word of God. That you will see me in heaven and say, Sister, oh, I made heaven. We made heaven together. I saw somebody say, uh, she said, I'm your follower on YouTube. Oh, I saw she came to my, she came to my chapter in Holiness River Movement here in the U.S. Maryland. She saw me. Oh, I was so happy that she, at least she's following me on YouTube. For the first time, I want to, to hug you like that in heaven. Oh, sister, I'm seeing you for the first time in heaven. Hallelujah, we made it. That is what I want. That is what I desire. Jesus, help us that we will see you and rejoice together in heaven in Jesus' name. Oh God, we pray for our day that the orchestrations of the wicked for us to fall into sin. Oh God, tell Lord Jesus that you give us grace to overcome. Help us to be alert. Oh, in our spirit to say not to the Satan, the devil, and to overcome him at every given time. Give us the power, oh God, to say not to sin, to choose well, to choose wisely. Oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for reminding us our goal. Oh, our focus. Help us to focus unto you, to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Help us, O oh Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God help us. God keep us. God strengthen us in this path that we will not miss it when he comes. We will hear the trumpet sound and we go with God in heaven. We will go with Jesus to heaven. We will not regret our life in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.